Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister. Jazakallah for giving us the opportunity. We are really grateful to have you. Um, I'm Amna Sohail and I'm from Karachi. I'm a final year dental hygiene student at AKU. Um, to give you a brief intro of what dental hygiene is, it was initiated in 2015 with the intent of preventative care, emphasizing the role and importance of oral health. So my question to you would be the apt of regarding the absence of licensing body in Pakistan for this profession. What steps can be taken to ensure that there is a standardization of framework in Pakistan? Secondly, regarding uh, the use of smokeless tobacco, um, pan, gutka, chalia, tambaku, naswar, is uh, Karachi mein is bahut zyada prevalent. Hai. Thank God she didn't ask for cigars. <laughs> <laughs> So, iske liye hum kya kar sakte? what can the government do to regulate? And yeah, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, uh, let me share that I have appointed a SAPM on medical education and uh, patient care. Uh, he's a professional, I, I'm sure many of you would be knowing, Dr. Amir Bilal. Uh, he's a cardiothoracic surgeon. Mm -hmm. And one of the area was that licensing, imparting medical education, not just uh, in the dental uh, arena, but otherwise the entire medical profession, undergrad, postgrad, and the rest. And the kind of a mushroom growth these private businesses uh, and the kind of a harm they have done to the produce which we are having. Uh, clearly shows our commitment that we give a priority to this area. Again, with your specific query, uh, I don't have something at the back of my mind, but if you are interested, we can link you to the SAPM's office mm -hmm. and uh, your inputs would be very much encouraged and we would welcome that and even anyone else also. Uh, and he probably would be on a visit here in, in Karachi also. Uh, and, and I can arrange a meeting Thank you. Uh, with, with our Khan University and other professionals also. So you can have a discussion on all the details and give your valuable inputs also there. Um, I think we do have to end, and I want to just appreciate uh, the Honorable Prime Minister uh, for your candor uh, and really just the insight that you've been able to provide to us. This conversation could go on for hours, uh, and I'm happy to do so. But uh, the uh, and I'll apologize uh, to all the students for the questions that we couldn't take. But I think the Prime Minister has been very open to receiving those kinds of comments and feedback and questions. And with his permission, I'll be happy to send them over to your office if you would like please, to continue to answer please. some of these difficult questions. Please. I mean, I, I have a number which is uh, available on the Google. So you can directly WhatsApp to me also. <laughs> it's not an issue. So we'll end here by uh, thanking the Prime Minister for taking the time out to be with us. I want to thank everybody in the audience, but particularly the students who have asked uh, these very, very, uh, these questions that are going to impact not just their own lives, but the lives of everybody uh, in the country. So thank you, everybody, for being here. And we'll continue this discourse offline. Inshallah. Thank, sure. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. <laughs> نکرا وزیر اعظم انوار الحقہ کڑاخا خان یونیورسٹی کے طلبہ اور طالبات سے خصوصی گفتگو کر رہے تھے انہوں نے کہا کہ پاکستان کے ہر شہری کو اظہار رائے کی آزادی کا حق حاصل ہے آزادی اظہار رائے کو مثبت اور تعمیری ہونا چاہیے گلگت بلتستان پاکستان کا حصہ ہے اور ہمیشہ رہے گا